Yellow. Hey, Daryl. It's Randy from Two Houses Down. Oh, hey, neighbor. What uh, what can I do for you? Well, I just wanted to call and pay my condolences. Your wife, Starla, was a national treasure, and we sure will miss her. Thank you very much. Uh, I sure do appreciate that, Randy. It's been real tough on me and the kids when the police called and said my wife got her head stuck in an escalator. I said, that can happen? Yeah, Terry's cousin works over at the pretzel hut. Says she saw the whole gruesome mess go down. Yeah, police said she bent down to pick up her receipt. She had dropped the receipt and that damn escalator just ate her up like a hoagie. But she's up in heaven now, sipping margaritas with Jesus. Oh, hey, man. Well, listen, Daryl, I know you've got a lot going on with the whole dead wife thing, <laughs> but your grass is getting pretty long, neighbor. Past the HOA's agreed upon length for grass. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Randy. I, I sure am sorry. You know, Starla used to do all the mowing. She loved the smell of fresh mowed grass back when she could smell. So what a tragedy then to be mowed down by an escalator. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I heard on the news, malls is one of the deadliest places for a wife. I went skateboarding in a mall one time. Yeah, those, uh, those, those damn malls. Mm. I tell you, at night when I close my eyes, all I can see is that Damn escalator just gobbling up my starter like a like a plate of enchiladas. <laughs> oh, wow, Daryl, that is what nightmares are made of right there. Uh, so, so listen, neighbor, as president of the Angel Brook HOA, it's my job to make sure we keep everything a-okay. So when will that grass be mowed? Well, um, Randy, I, I'm trying to... Go, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got another call. Yellow? Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Escalator. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Okay. Bye. So listen, Daryl. I know you got a lot going on with the whole closed casket thing. So why don't we just go ahead and get that grass cut by tomorrow? Okay, neighbor? Well, funeral does end at two. I suppose I could mow it after in her honor. Oh, that's great. That's really great. Starla would love that. Mm-hmm. She would. Well, you know, they say time heals all wounds and such, so you just let me know if you need anything, okay, neighbor? I actually, Randy, I, I was wondering if I could ask you a little favor. A favor? Of course, neighbor, of course. Well, you know, now that my beloved wife is hamburger meat and my kids are having night terrors and I'm in mourning, I wondered if you would mind terribly cutting my grass. Oh, yes, of course, neighbor. How could I say no? I mean, what would Jesus do? Right, neighbor? Oh, thank you so much, Randy. I sure do. I sure do appreciate that. Oh, I, I gotta go. That's the funeral director on the other line there. All right, thanks again, neighbor. Mm, you betcha. Alex, get over mo Miss Craig's yard now. Who? Miss... The dead escalator lady's house. Oh, okay. Sure. Cannot find good help these days. Hmm.